Come on! That's right! Suck it! Zombies! This is the future, guys, I'm telling you. Greetings, and welcome to LGR Oddware, where we're taking a look at hardware and software that is odd, forgotten, and obsolete. And wow, today's is all three. This is the Thrustmaster Wizard Pinball Controller, a uh, set of add-on controller thingies to put on your PC keyboard to add pinball-like bumper controls as well as motion control for uh, tilting the table. I cannot wait to dive into this thing. This is supreme oddware. This is gonna be good. So this right here is the Thrustmaster Wizard Pinball Controller. And yes, I recently got this because, uh, well, I've been looking for it for a long time. And if you remember, way back when I did my video on the full Maxis collection of mine, I said this. Uh, there was also this version of it, which is the Full Tail Pinball Wizard Pinball Controller Edition by Thrustmaster. It's just a CD that came packed in with the Wizard Pinball Controller. I don't have one of those. But... Obviously, that has changed. I have been on the lookout for this ever since doing that video, and well, I finally got one complete in box for a good price. This is just like the real thing, according to PC Gamer. Oh, so cool. It does come with the free version of a Full Tilt Pinball published by Maxis, complete retail at no extra cost. And yes, this is for Windows 3.X and Windows 95. So uh, we'll be testing that out here in a little bit, but yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at the rest of this packaging because I think it's really cool. Although, there is another version of this that I think only came out in the UK that came packaged with a game called Royal Flush, and it had a box that looked actually a bit like a pinball machine, and, and that's just even cooler than this. So what the frick is this thing? Well, this is made by Thrustmaster, the same people that were responsible for doing a whole ton of stuff, mainly joysticks uh, like the excellent F-16 flight stick, this thing retailed for $39.95, and uh, there's really not a whole lot else to talk about here, just uh, the fact that this is a box, it exists. Oh yeah, there's some system requirement stuff there, but uh, you know, pretty much you just need a computer that's IBM compatible and has a game port. Because inside the box, as you can see here, this actually plugs into uh, typically like your sound cards game port or wherever you happen to have a game port installed. So even though it attaches to a keyboard, so these are the controllers themselves. Um, pretty basic, very flimsy, plasticky kind of things with crappy buttons. They're really, really flimsy. But anyway, this is a kind of a cheap product, so I guess it makes sense. These just sort of slide underneath your keyboard and it would typically come with a piece of Velcro to attach one side of your keyboard and then the other sides to these to keep it from sliding around because these do slide around. Uh, I just use something else, like typically those little uh, 3M mounting strips. We'll take a closer look at these in a moment, but let's uh, actually look inside the box here because, well, you got, of course, the software, the configuration software and uh, full tilt pinball on this CD-ROM right here, at least in this American version. A quick start guide for the controller, which, uh, yeah, you pretty much just plug it in and then calibrate it like you would a joystick in Windows 95. And uh, then there's the stuff for, uh, yeah, Full Tilt Pinball. I would be curious to find out the development. Like, what made them do this? I know there were a ton of pinball games back in the day. Like, for example, here's another one that you could get with it. Uh, this is by those people that made Crystal Caliburn. It's a pinball table, or uh, I guess just a table, yeah, that comes on a CD-ROM called Looney Labyrinth. There were so many PC pinball games back then, it's ridiculous. So I guess it makes sense that, you know, there would be enough uh, of a niche market to make this, but it's still just so odd to me. Inside, you also get uh, the same quick guide or whatever in a bunch of other languages, a uh, warranty card, and some other warranty stuff, and a Thrustmaster product catalog. Yeah, here's all the stuff that they would make back in the day. They did all sorts of really strange little devices, mostly having to do with racing and flight, as you can see here, but this is another one that I actually wanna get a hold of sometime. This is the Pro Play Golf, and it lets you play uh, golf games with like an actual kind of putter thing, like you would see at a lot of different, um, I don't know, places that have like virtual golf swinging. 
Okay, now just to give you a little bit more of an idea of what's going on here, this is just a, a close-up shot. Isn't this lovely? But uh, yeah, here's the um, non-clicky, trying to simulate a click uh, kind of button. And actually, we're going to take it apart and uh, show you what actually goes on as far as the tilt controls. Okay. So inside here is actually uh, pretty straightforward as far as the actual button itself. Um, you can actually see the switch there, which, uh, you know, it's not the same kind of clicky, metallic uh, quality that you would find in like an arcade machine or really a real pinball machine's like micro switches, but it does at least click a little. It just feels really cheap. Uh, and then these right here, um, you have these which control the uh, bumping and tilting, you know, when you're uh, moving it around or you, you bump it either direction, really, then uh, these little guys will uh, react and it kind of figures out what you're doing as far as movement. And if you do too much, then you tilt the table, which does indeed work kind of similar to uh, what a real pinball table does. Um, again, just much cheaper. I mean, these are just really flimsy, plasticky things. In fact, I feel if I touch them too much, they're just going to explode and give me shrapnel damage. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing in action. I guess I should put it back together first. All right, now it's finally time to install these things. I'm gonna put them on this Packard Bell keyboard that I've been using lately because nostalgia. And uh, yeah, it's, this is literally as simple as you imagine it is. You just slide it under there and uh, there you go. You also put it on the other side. Like I said, it, it slides around. There's nothing that actually attaches to anything. So you really do need something uh, in order to take care of that. And what I use actually are these little poster strips. So I mean, you can use anything, obviously. Velcro would work too. But these come off without leaving some sticky, crappy residue. And they keep this thing in place. You just put them here and stick them to the side of your keyboard. And uh, that's pinball-like, I suppose doesn't feel anything like the actual click of a real pinball table, but that's okay. We're going to try it anyway. And as you can see here, hopefully, uh, in the control panel under the gaming options for Windows 95 or 98, in this case, you just select it as a regular two-axis four-button joystick. And uh, yeah, you can test it out and uh, try the motion axes there. So that's cool. Um, and there's actually two different functions for each button. Like if you press it halfway, it'll press one button. And if you press it all the way, you got two, uh, there's two buttons for the button. I guess that's for like doing things like uh, strength of hits and whatnot. And then of course you also have the Thrustmaster wizard uh, configuration thingy here, which you don't actually need to use unless you're using a game or playing a game that doesn't necessarily support this thing out of the box. Uh, Full Tilt Pinball does, but if you had another game, like it comes pre-configured with some stuff like 3D Ultra Pinball, Crystal Calibur, and, uh, Looney Labyrinth, or whatever that other one was. And Full Tilt Pinball for some reason. Basically, this is a, a keyboard interpreter for the thing. So if you wanted to, you could actually uh, uh, map this stuff to keyboard commands in order to make it work with stuff that doesn't accept the joystick. So let's go ahead and try Full Tilt Pinball here, because that's what it comes with. And let's do Space Cadet, as well as there's Skullduggery and Dragon's Keep, but we'll try Space Cadet. And yes, there are two other tables to go alongside Space Cadet. Did you know that? I did, because Maxis. All right. So what you got to do in here is go to Enable Joystick. And uh, when I first tried this, it didn't work, because it actually has to be given the ID of 1. The Thrustmaster Wizard program won't work either unless the joystick is mapped to uh, ID1. If it's like ID2 or 3 or something, it's not going to work, so just make sure that's that. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty good. Pinball Wizard Controller. And my word, that thing is sensitive as far as the tilt controls. It's like it's bumping the table at all times, and I'm not even touching anything. That table is like an earthquake! I will say, though, that the buttons themselves work surprisingly better than you might imagine feeling how flimsy they are just on their own. But, I mean, it, you know... Oh, man. Feels like I'm playing pinball, which is pretty cool. <laughs> 
Somehow I think I've turned off the sound effects. I'm not entirely sure how that happened. My word, I suck at this even more. So here's what I'm talking about as far as like, I'm, I'm not touching anything and the table is bumping. Um, I don't know how well that's showing up, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you tilt it, I mean, it really does work. At least it kind of works. Um, the problem being, I mean, you know, the bumping is pretty cool. Ugh. That's neat. But it does tilt, you know, pretty easily, so. Okay, I'm gonna try it with one more game here, and this is Balls of Steel, and it's actually mapped to the keyboard control since this doesn't support, uh, like, joystick or uh, whatever uh, this is. <laughs> so, let's try this out. That uh, doesn't do crap. That's great. Okay. So, <clears throat> obviously the thing is working. Like, it's mapped to the keyboard. I got, that's, that's typing things. <laughs> that's typing things. So that's fine. Uh, but when I go to play it, and it's mapped to the proper controls and everything, uh, it's a different story. Nothing happens. I, I don't even know why. So, uh, that kind of sucks. Well, I've totally given up because, uh, uh, man, I don't even know what I'm doing. So, let's try this. This should be fun. Well, that turns. Uh, that moves forward. That shoots. And, uh, let's see, turning. I can totally do this! Oh. They're shooting each other. Ugh. No. Come on. That's right. Suck it, zombies. This is the future, guys. I'm telling you. Got to turn left since the right that doesn't work. Ugh. Ugh. Go forward. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, this is way better than pinball. Oh, crap, what shoots? I forgot. I think that does. Sort of. Uh, uh. Uh, that's right! I'm gonna beat this level. Oh, it's gonna be the greatest thing. In that case, I should just run through it. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, I almost had it for a second. This has got to be what this was actually made for. Uh, uh, don't let the imp see me. He's in the corner. Oh, how do I open things? Uh, there it is. Uh, uh. Yeah! Thrustmaster Wizard Pinball Controller. Ten stars out of five. Thank you for watching LGR Oddware.